Build Smart Panels make super energy efficient construction simple, affordable, and accessible for any builder, architect, developer, or homeowner. In this video, you'll learn how to use the Build Smart Panels in SketchUp to design your own super energy efficient building. All of the Build Smart Panels have been created for you as SketchUp components. Let's take a quick look and see what's available. The panels come in two different heights, 8 foot and 9 foot. In this video we'll only be using the 8 foot panels, but all of these panels exist as 9 footers as well. In straight panels there are six different widths. 1 foot wide, 2 foot wide, 3, 4, 6, and 8 foot wide. In corner panels there are two different types of corners, an outside corner, and an inside corner. Both of these corners have outside dimensions of 2 feet by 2 feet. And another thing to note is they are green on the outside and pink on the inside to represent insulation. This goes for all of the panel types. There are three different door types, full glass, partial glass and solid and these three doors exist as four foot wide panels, six foot wide panels and eight foot wide panels and in all cases the doors come in left and right hand swings. There are also a wide variety of windows available in both left and right hand swings. In four foot wide panels there's a three foot tall tilt and turn window, a five foot tall tilt and turn, and a tilt and turn over a fixed window. When we move into six foot wide panels, there are three new window types, a twin tilt and turn three foot, a twin tilt and turn five foot tall, and a twin tilt and turn over a fixed and these three new window types also exist as eight foot wide panels. The SketchUp components are available on the BuildSmart website as free downloads. There are two zip files there. One file contains all the eight foot tall panels and the other contains the nine foot tall panels. Follow the instructions on the website to download and extract these components in their own folders. On my system I created a build smart folder and I extracted the 8 foot zip download into a subfolder of 8 foot panels. And if you've done that correctly, if you open it up, you'll see a variety of SketchUp models. Each one of these is a build smart component. The next step is to make these components available in your SketchUp models. So in SketchUp, go to the Window menu and select Components. There you'll see a list of components that are in your model. If you click on the Details button and select Open or Create Local Collection, you can browse to your Build Smart folder and then select the 8-foot Panels folder. And now what will appear in your components window are all of the various Build Smart panel components. The components appear in the component window alphabetically. The first digit shows the width of the panel, 1, 2, 3, 4, there's also 6 and 8 foot wide panels. The second digit is S for a straight panel. I for an inside corner, O for an outside corner, D for a door, and we'll scroll up a bit here to find a window, or W for a window panel. To use the components, simply drag them from the components window onto the screen. Now we're ready to start designing a building using the Build Smart panels.
For this video, I'm going to use a floor plan supplied by Adam Cohen, the inventor of BuildSmart. I believe the design is from one of his passive home projects in Virginia. One thing you may notice is that all wall dimensions are multiples of one foot. That's because the BuildSmart panels are multiples of one foot. When designing with BuildSmart panels, I find it useful to create a building footprint and then build the walls on top of this footprint. So I'm going to recreate this floor plan in SketchUp. So with the rectangle tool, I will draw out a rectangle and then type in 30 feet, comma, 32 feet. So now we have the outside of the footprint. Let's just confirm that that's 30 feet wide and 32 feet deep. And then I'll use a couple of guidelines. I'm going to come over 14 feet and in 4 feet. That shows that little bump out, or actually bump in, right here. And if I use the rectangle tool again, I can trace over that and then erase the two lines, get rid of my guides, and then I will triple click on this, right click, and make it a group. So now we have a footprint that matches our floor plan. Next, I like to set all the outside corners, and inside corners if any, on the footprint. So I'll open up the components window, and first drag out an outside corner, and position it in the first corner. And then I'm going to use the Move tool, and tap the Control key, which is SketchUp's copy method to make a copy for all the other outside corners. And you'll notice as you move these corners around, you will see on the top some little red crosses which allow you to rotate. In this case, I don't need to rotate that corner. But as I move a copy of it to the next corner, I will need to rotate. So I'm grabbing, clicking, and rotating and then I can position the component in the corner. So one more outside corner to copy, rotate, and do the final positioning. So now I have all of the outside corners positioned. There is one inside corner right here so I'll go back to the components window and drag out the inside corner. And now I have to rotate that appropriately and move it. So there we have the start of the building with all of the inside corners and outside corners positioned. The next step is to confirm the dimensions between corner panels to make sure that you've properly positioned the corners on the footprint. So I'm going to click on the tape measure and simply get dimensions between panels. Now here you'll see it's 11 foot 11 and 11 sixteenths, which is a problem that should be a multiple of 12 feet. So I'm going to zoom in and see what's going on here. I'm going to snap that to that corner and now oh, I think I see the problem. That panel was not quite aligned to the footprint which means the inside corner that I did is not aligned also. So I'm going to move that over. Okay, so we'll zoom back out again. and get the tape measure tool again. And now I have 12 feet between these two outside corners, which is correct. 
between these two corners I also have a problem 9 foot 11 and 11 sixteenths and as I zoom in I can see I didn't do a good job of snapping this one either so I'm going to use the move tool and align that to the footprint and back to the tape measure tool and now I have 10 feet so that's proper between these two outside corners I have 24 feet I actually got that one right and the next wall let's see what we've got again we have a little problem here so I will zoom in and see what's going on there and we snapped well there let's see the other side up oh, there's the problem right there the component is not quite aligned to the outside all right so once again we grab the tape measure tool and now we have 26 feet between these outside corners which is proper and this wall we have 28 feet and back to the original wall 12 feet so now we have confirmed that all of the corners are set in their proper locations the next step is to add the desired window and door panels so we're going to start on this wall by measuring using the tape measure tool and we've got a 12 foot opening here let's go back to the floor plan and see what that calls for so this is the wall we're working on and there is uh, two sets of windows so we'll go back to SketchUp and now we're going to drag out six foot wide windows if we drag out two six foot panels that will fill up our entire 12 foot span so I'm going to scroll until we come to six foot window here's a left hand window that I'll put on the left side and a similar window being right hand right next to it so if we zoom in we can see now we have a completed wall including two corners and two window panels now let's move to the next wall and same process we'll use the tape measure tool to measure the opening we have a 10 foot wide opening and let's go back to our drawing and we have a door with a left hand swing and a double window to fill that 10 foot opening it looks like the door panel is a little bit smaller than the window panel so back to SketchUp let's try a four foot door with a left hand swing and then we wanted a twin window of six foot wide so let's scroll up until we see a twin window and there's one and we'll position that so now we have our second completed wall so same process on the third wall we will use a tape measure tool and measure the opening we have 24 feet go back to the floor plan see what we've got we've got symmetrical windows on each side of the wall so back to SketchUp this time let's use an 8 foot wide panel with window and there's a left hand swing now we need to rotate that and position it and we're going to use a similar window with the right hand swing drag that out on the other end of the wall and again we have to rotate on this wall and position that and the rest is filler so let's see what our dimension is and it's eight feet so we'll drag out an eight foot panel rotate it and move it into position so 
So now when we zoom out, we have our third completed wall. Moving on to the fourth wall, we will orbit to see it. Use the tape measure tool again, and we have 26 feet of opening. Let's go back to our floor plan. And here it is. It looks like the door is centered in the wall, and on each side of the door are twin windows. So, going back to SketchUp, let's start with the door. And since it's centered, I'm going to drag a guideline out and type in 15 feet. So that's where we want the center of the door. And let's bring out a 6-foot door. Um, this time I'll use a partial glass with a left-hand swing. Now that's positioned backwards, so I'm going to rotate it. So the green is on the outside. I'm going to snap it to the line, and now since this is a six foot wide panel, I'm going to move it over exactly three feet. Now, if that is properly centered, we should have a ten foot opening on each side, and it looks like we do. So now let's go get some eight foot wide twin windows. And scroll up until we find the eight wides. There's a twin. And rotate it in place. And position it next to the door. And I'm simply going to copy this because it's already rotated in the proper, proper uh, plane. Okay, so now let's see what we have for an opening on each side. We have two feet and two feet. So I'm going to scroll up and get a straight two-foot panel. And there it is right there. Bring that out. Rotate it. And move it into position. And then make a copy of it and move it down to the other opening. Okay, there's wall number four. Okay, now we're on our last wall. And by now you know the process. Measure the opening. We have 28 feet. Look at our floor plan. 32 feet. Of course, we lose two feet on each side to the corner. That's why it's 28. So the only thing of interest here is a door with a left-hand swing. And I would kind of estimate that this is a four-foot panel, and that door looks like an eight-foot panel. So back to SketchUp. What I'm going to do is bring out a eight-foot wide left-hand swing door. So we'll scroll up to eights, and there's a left foot swing with full glass. So let's try that. Okay, and we'll rotate that in place. And I'm going to move it to this corner, and then move it along the axis four feet. So now we should be able to position a four foot straight panel. And there it is. Drag that out on the screen. Rotate it. And position it. Okay, so the rest of this wall is all filler. Let's see what we have. We have 16 feet. So let's do two eights. We'll scroll up for a straight eight foot and bring that out. Rotate it. Move it into position. And then use SketchUp's copy mechanism. And I believe we're done. The final step is to save your model and send it on to Build Smart for pricing. Thanks for watching.